War Thunder is a game that I used to play a lot, but it's one that I have never made a video on, or at least for the last five years. However, today I thought I would bring over my style of World of Tanks tech tree proposals over to War Thunder and start a series looking at fan made tech tree proposals for War Thunder. Anyways, I just want to say 70% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to the channel, so please consider subscribing. I'm aiming for 2,500 subscribers wow. by the end of the year. Also, there'll be timestamps on the screen for each of the ranks in this tech tree proposal anyways other than that let's get into the yugoslavian tech tree proposal created by pick picker so rank one for yugoslavia includes a mix of vehicles some of which are home produced others are foreign export vehicles as with the chinese ground forces tech tree in war thunder some of these tech trees will have foreign vehicles which the nation produce and others of course, will have their own stuff. This tech tree does have a majority of their own stuff, but there are also filler vehicles from other nations to fill in the void. Yugoslavia is a mix of anti-air, medium tanks, and tank destroyers. So rank one sees three light tanks in the standard tech tree and additional three premium vehicles. These are the Renault R35, a French-made light tank, the Skoda T12, a Yugoslavian-made tank, and the M3A1, which is an American tank. The premiums are the AB41, the 7TP, and the M15 42U0139. In addition to this, there are two tank destroyers at rank one. These are modifications of Czechoslovakian light tank. The Skoda T32, a tankette which was used in the Yugoslav army with only eight vehicles built, and the Skoda SID. A further development of the Skoda T32, the SID was just an upgun version of the T32. The final rank one vehicle is another imported vehicle. This is the German SDKFZ 10-4. So rank two technically does have one standard vehicle that is an imported vehicle. One that leads quite well from the M3 as the next vehicle is the M3 A3, which was used by Yugoslav partisans and the Federal People's Republic of Yugoslavia from 1944 to 1960. The next light tank is a further deviation of the M3 A3. The M5 A1 PVO is a Yugoslavian modified version of the M5 Stuart, but with a mini anti-air gun on its turret. This will be an interesting vehicle, essentially a ZSU based on a steward. The next tank from the light tanks is a medium tank, the SO57 S35, which is a French S35 with a six pounder gun, a unique conversion of this French medium tank. The next vehicles are tank destroyers with the SO150 M3A3. This is an M3A3 Stuart with a 150mm derp gun on it. This will be a pretty fun tank to play. The other tank destroyer is a modification of the Panzer III, but of course, this one had a 75mm Pat 40 instead of a turret. Apparently, there was one of these vehicles rocking about in the Yugoslavian armed forces during World War II. The anti air tank at rank 2 is another M3A3, but this is just a full conversion of the M3A3 with a 20mm Flak 38 mounted onto. It. For premium vehicles at tier 3, we have two tank destroyers and a light tank. The SD KFZ 250, 5cm pack 38, and the M56A1 are the tank destroyers. And the AEC Mark II is the light tank. Rank 3, of course, sees more tanks. Seven tanks are featured in this tech tree, and most of these are technically Yugoslavian modified import vehicles. There are an additional five premium tanks as well. With medium tanks, we see two Shermans and one T-34 variant. The Shermans are the M6 Three, four variants. These are Shermans with T-34 V2 engines installed as well as some new guns for the tanks including a 75mm and 76mm guns for both of them in the tech tree. These are pretty much Sturman tanks but they can go faster due to their new engine and they have slightly better gun handling. Now the T-34B is a Yugoslavian modification of the T-34-85 tanks. This tank would be a T-34-85 with T-55 engines and some mechanisms with its gun, including the same heat shells, new radios were equipped to the tank and new road wheels, and night vision which it shared with the M63 and M68. 
as well as AA machine gun. Now for the tank destroyers, we have some pretty powerful vehicles, which are yet again Yugoslavian modifications of other nations' vehicles. The SO-75 M3A3 is a 75mm on an M3 Stuart chassis. The SO-122 M4 is a 122mm gun on an M4 Sherman's chassis, making it the, the most powerful M4 Sherman that could be in War Thunder. The SO-90 is, however, just an M36 Jackson which is in Yugoslavian service. The anti-air vehicle at rank 3 is the American M15A1 half track. For premium tanks at rank 3, we have three tank destroyers and two medium tanks. The medium tanks are the MK1V 76mm and the M4A3 E4 Sherman. The tank destroyers are the M09 Soko, the Hetzer and the M18 Hellcat with a 130 horsepower engine. Rank 4 consists of seven standard tech tree vehicles, three medium tanks three tank destroyers and one anti-air vehicle for premiums there are four tank destroyers and an anti-air vehicle what is interesting about this here is the final medium tank in the line is the beginning of proper yugoslavian made tank the first medium tanks are the vozilo a these are essentially yugoslavian modified t-34 85 tanks with a bigger turret to mount an even bigger gun. They also face some armor upgrades and I assume one of the upgrades for the Vazilo A would be the Vazilo B. The other medium is the natural deviation from the Vazilo A, the M328 Galeb or the T3490. There was a plan to mount a 100mm on the T3485 as well as a 90mm gun on the T3485. The other medium tank is the Yugoslavian made M320 a tank developed in 1955 to put all of the well-performing characteristic of the T-34, M4, M47 and M18 into one tank. For the tank destroyers, we have two variations of the later Jackson tanks. These fought in the Yugoslavian wars in the 90s. The final tank destroyer is the M60PB, which would mount two 82mm recoilless rifled cannons. The anti-air gun is the BOV-3. For the premium tanks in this rank, we have the Frag M5359 D30, SO76 M18, M60 NRZ UB32, SO76 M18 T55, and the anti-air gun is the T55 40mm Boffers L60. Rank 5 is probably the final rank for the medium tanks that are truly Yugoslavian made vehicles. The rest are merely modifications of very heavily inspired from Soviet era tank. But rank 5 sees two medium tanks, three tank destroyers and two anti-air vehicles with six premium tank opportunities at this rank. The first medium tank is the M636 Condor, the ultimate attempt to emulate the Soviet T55 tanks developed in 1953 to 1963 in parallel to previous designs like the M320. This makes for a smooth transition to the next vehicle that is in this tech tree at rank 5, the M636. d The M636D is the ultimate stage of from 1963 of the M636 with a 105mm cannon which will be a pretty good addition at rank 5 in the Yugoslavian tech tree. For the tank destroyers there is the M80A which was technically an IFV, but it does have modifications that added anti-tank weapons to make this a tank hunter. In addition to this, we have the BOV-1, it's probably the craziest and funnest tank at tier 5 for the Yugoslavian tech tree, a wheeled, lightly armoured anti-tank vehicle, which was armed with 6 AT-3 missiles. The next tank destroyer also has 6 AT-3 missiles. The M80A LT also featured these missiles, but would have some more armour and would be a little bit slower compared to its predecessor. For the anti-air vehicles we have the Praga M53 and the SP-8032. For premium tanks there is two tank destroyers, two medium tanks and two anti-air vehicles. The tank destroyers are the Nora B and the LRSCM Moreva. The medium tanks are two foreign premium vehicles, the AMX-30S and the American M47 Patton. The anti-air vehicles is the Russian made ZSU-57-2 and the Yugoslavian modified version of the ZSU, the Z SU-57-2 modification. Rank 6 features a lot of tanks. In fact, it's got the most tanks in this tech tree. 
with 12 tanks rather than the usual 6 to 7 tanks in the rank. This tier features many vehicles that are similar to Soviet tanks that are already in the game. However, these are all unique in their own way and most of these are Yugoslavian built tanks that are heavily inspired by Soviet vehicles. So let's get straight into rank 6. Firstly, there are 5 medium tanks in the rank. The first is a Yugoslav modification of the T-55, the T-55 AI Igman. T-55H is another Russian vehicle that the Yugoslavians had and I believe this is another modification of the T-55. The next tank is the M84. This is a Yugoslavian variant of the Soviet T-72 main battle tank. This has a lot of modifications as well which makes it unique. The next tank is the further deviation of the M84, the M84 A4 Snazba. And finally, we have an even larger modification to the M84. This is the M84D. For the tank destroyers, there is actually two light tanks in the research line, the M80 AK and the HE M80 AB1 are both modifications to the M80 Yugoslavian made IFV. These of course are light tanks. The tank destroyer in this line is the M95 Cobra. The other vehicle is the M96 Orkin 2 which uses rockets. The anti-air vehicles are the Bob 30, the HS M09 Bob 3 and the Praga RL4M. For premium vehicles at this rank there are three medium tanks and two tank destroyers. The Russian made T55 and the American M60A2 TTS are two of the premiums as well as the M55S which is a Slovenian tank. The other vehicles are the TAM110, M55 and the SLRS S10 CRO A1. Finally we move to the final rank which is rank 7. The final tier in the Yugoslavian tech tree for War Thunder yields 6 vehicles, 3 medium tanks, 1 rocket propelled tank destroyer and 2 anti-air gun. The medium tanks are the M91 Vihor, M95 Degman and the M84AS. The tank destroyer is the M87 Orkin, which of course fires missiles. The anti-air vehicles are the Sava M90 and the Pazar 16 Terminator. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this Yugoslavian tech tree for War Thunder. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm a little rusty with War Thunder videos in this style because well this is my first time doing a War Thunder video in so long so please let me know what you think about this video let me know what you think about this proposal and what other proposals do you want me to cover for War Thunder I'd love to do them and I'll probably do them in my next War Thunder video anyways I'll see you all in the next one